Hi friends, today's putting Nymphadora Tonks from the Harry Potter series into the spotlight. Nymphadora Tonks is a member of the Order of the Phoenix who sacrifices herself to protect the world from Lord Voldemort. Nymphadora is a Greek word which means gift of the nymphs. Nymphs are nature spirits or minor deities in Greek mythology. They were equated to elves by Northern Europeans during the Renaissance. There was a legend that elves, or therefore nymphs, would steal your babies and replace them with a monster called a changeling. However, nymph is also the name of a dragonfly or a damselfly before it metamorphosizes into a winged adult. Both of these definitions therefore link to something changing appearance. Both of these are an obvious link to the fact that Tonks is a metamorph magus, which means she can change her appearance. Peculiar. It seems that your hearing at the Ministry is to be before the entire wizard world. I don't understand. Her surname, Tonks, is likely in reference to the artist and surgeon, Henry Tonks. Henry Tonks would record exact images of facial injuries sustained by soldiers during World War I. Rowling therefore thought that his interest in how somebody's face can change would be a good link for this character. Tonks's wand is unknown. However, her Patronus is known, and she's actually one of the few characters whose Patronus changes. Before 1995, her Patronus is a jackrabbit, which is a symbol of a free-spirited person. However, between 1995 and her death in 1998, her Patronus is actually a wolf. This is due to her falling in love with Remus Lupin, who is a werewolf. He's a werewolf! That's why he's been missing classes. How long have you known? There actually aren't that many differences in Tonks' character between the books and the movies. The major difference, however, is how much screen time she has. In the book, we see a lot more of Tonks, specifically her relationship with Lupin and her pregnancy. My husband, the Joker. By the way, wait till you hear the news. Right oh, time, right. We have time for a cozy catch up later. We also see her as a metamorph magus a lot more often. We see her change her appearance more often in the books than we do in the movies. Don't. Call me Nymphadora. All of these aspects of her characters were cut from the movies because of screen time reasons. David Yates, the director, was worried that he was going to dedicate too much time to this character who overall doesn't actually help the plot move forward. One scene that Tonks appears in in the books is changed for the movie. In the sixth book, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, we see Tonks rescue Harry from the Hogwarts Express. However, in the movie adaptation of this book, it's actually Luna that rescues Harry. Hello, Harry. Luna, how do you know where I was? Experts, your head's full of them. Another relatively minor difference is her hair. In the books, Tonks is described as preferring short and spiky hair, which is pink. However, in the movie, we most often see her with purple shoulder length hair. This is because the color pink was already associated with Dolores Umbridge. Yates was worried about confusing the audience as to where Tonks' true loyalties lie, so he decided to make her purple instead of pink. Anna Friel, who was married to David Thewlis, who plays Remus Lupin, actually auditioned to play the role of Tonks. She wanted to be able to play alongside her husband. However, she actually didn't get the role. Kelly MacDonald was offered the role, but she refused, but later accepted the role of Helen Ravenclaw. You're the great lady. Natalia Tenner, who plays Tonks, had actually not read the books when she went in for her audition. In fact, Tenner's agent actually only warned her of the audition when it was already quite late. Tenner showed up late to her audition and later tripped into a table. She was sure she was not going to get the role as this wasn't a very professional audition. However, director David Yates saw the perfect vibe and energy in her to play Tonks, so he offered her the role, much to her surprise. Would you like to be a metamorph magus? Why or why not? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy bubbles! Thanks so much for watching this video and thank you to my Patreon bubblers for supporting the channel. If you want to see all of the other characters from the Harry Potter series I've already covered, you can click on the box on the left. Or you can click on the box on the right to watch a video that the YouTube algorithm thinks you would enjoy. Thanks for liking this video, subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell.